For children and parents, getting a good night's sleep can be one of life's real challenges. But there are techniques to help combat sleep deprivation and improve your quality of life. Martin King has more. Meg couldn't get to sleep. I couldn't sleep at all that night. Oscar wouldn't stay in his own bed. Tossing and turning, I weave in my sleep. That's and mother Julia. In the end, I was really desperate because she was so desperate. So desperate, the eyes wide open Martin family from Adelaide went for the doctor. We know it's out there and we, in fact I think it's a bigger problem than what we're seeing at the moment. So uh, we're sort of probably getting the tip of the iceberg. Dr Michael Gradisar heads the Child and Adolescent Sleep Unit at Flinders University. He says sleep deprivation among young Australians is a huge issue. It's quite a concern. I mean, there seems to be a lot of detrimental effects and we don't know what the long-term consequences are yet. The idea is that you can have it there, but look over the top. Meg is 15. She's a super smart private school student and until she came here, a lousy sleeper. Now, this is your bedroom. Yes. Why weren't you sleeping? Um, I don't know. I just, I would go to bed and then I'd be awake for hours. Yeah, it was horrible for her because when I'd get her up in the morning at 7 o'clock for school, she would um, say, Mum, I feel like I haven't even had any sleep. How bad did it get? It got pretty bad. Um, my work started building up and I was just teary all the time. This is your schoolwork you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, my schoolwork. Things. These bubbles are where we're going to write your thoughts, the thoughts that are keeping you awake or making you feel worried at night. So, Oscar, whose bed's this? Mum and Dad's. So why were you in it? Because um, I woke up in the middle of the night and... Um, uh, I find it hard to get to sleep because I, I usually hear lots of noises so I come down here and hop in. Sometimes I believe what happens in movies and everything. Mm. But there is a happy so reality. The Researchers here at the sleep unit using a mix of technology and psychology have given the Martin family their lives back. The success rate is eye-opening. We'd probably rate our success somewhere around 80 to 85 per cent. Finally, the whole family is getting a good night's sleep. For a fortnight, Meg's light therapy was a real wake-up call first thing in the morning. What is your understanding of how this works? What does it make your brain do? It teaches my brain that I have to be awake at that time, that that's not time to be sleeping, it's time to be up. Gradually, her body clock adjusted. It's made a huge difference. You wouldn't think that it would, but it has. It's really helped me. It's just fixed my sleeping pattern. So you're a better person? Yes. You're a happier person? Yes. And there's no more tears? No. <laughs> Oscar's solution was a mattress on the floor of Mum and Dad's room, gradually en route to his own room. Don't you love kids? Yeah, I love them. <laughs> when they're asleep in their own beds. <laughs> yeah, and not yours? Yeah, not in mine. So who's a good sleeper? And who's not? <laughs> not really. You're not a good sleeper? No. You? Sometimes. <laughs> nah. These students at Ringwood Secondary College in Melbourne say their own biology along with technology make for anything but sweet dreams, especially now at exam time. Well, I try and lay in bed and then I can't sleep, so I get out my phone, watch YouTube. <laughs> you watch YouTube on your phone? Yeah. <laughs> but what does that do? Um, well... I really just try and waste time, try and make myself tired, but then I get hooked and then I just continue to watch and, and I can't sleep. But when you don't get enough sleep, what happens? Concentration yeah. in class. <laughs> yeah. Just like the, the period also always goes so much slower and you're just like, yeah. oh, come on, end already. Mm -hmm. And you're just fall, slowly falling asleep and asleep. So you can't concentrate, what else? You get grumpy. You just don't want to. I don't want to talk to anyone in the morning if I haven't had a good night's sleep. You just feel, oh no, it's not, it's not nice. Dr. Gradisar says you'll sleep better if you establish a sleep routine. Always get up at the same time, even on weekends. Have 30 minutes time out before bed, preferably light reading. Avoid technology in the bedroom and no caffeine drinks at night. I look sleep. Having a good night's sleep um, makes such a difference in your life. Sure does. And there's more information on that story at our 9MSN website. When we come back, Boris.